fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. days of the western United States, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order. And whenever men gathered around the campfire on the frontier, stories were told of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness. No greater champion of justice can be found in the pages of history. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're on the trail to Deadwood. There's going to be trouble. Hi, old Silver! Away! <laughs> the Golden Lady was the largest and busiest cafe in Deadwood Gulch. It was Saturday night, and the miners crowded three deep along the bar, shouting, laughing, eager to spend their hard-earned dust. Every hour, the noise increased, but suddenly, from one of the rooms that opened off the balcony at the rear of the cafe, a man's scream rang out above the good-natured bedlam. The cafe became silent. A door opened on the balcony. Quick, somebody bring a lamp up here. One of the waiters hurried toward the room with a lamp. Then the door closed once more. Almost at once, the crowd turned as one man toward the front of the building. Sheriff Collier had entered the cafe. The bartender pointed to the room on the balcony, and the men opened a way for the sheriff to the stairs. By now, the whispered word had gone the rounds of the cafe. A poker game had been going on in that room, and sitting in the game had been Blackie Leonard, the owner of the Golden Lady. Tom Hamlin, who supplied the miners in the bench land with water, young Larry Lawler, who had made the biggest strike in the last six months, and Matt Sheldon, the political boss of Deadwood. As the sheriff reached the door, he turned to the crowd below him. Don't anybody leave here till I say so. Hello, sheriff. What's happened? Look. Tom Hamlin. Yeah. Is he dead? He sure is. Shot? Well, it was a knife that did it. One of you three, huh? There was only the four of us in here. Stay right where you are. Joe! Yes, Sheriff? Send a couple of men up here. We gotta get Tom Hamlin over to the Undertaker's. He's dead. All right. Now we can get. 
get down to business. Who did it? Larry? I don't know. Somebody knocked the lamp out. It was in the dark. Matt? I don't know. Blackie, this place belongs to you. You better give me all the help you can. I could lock it up if I wanted to. I don't know. Still playing poker, huh? All right, sit down the table the way you were. What do you mean? Same seat you had. Where were you? Right here. Well, sit down. I was sitting at his right. Tom was... Tom was sitting here, my left. And I was sitting to the right of Blackie. There was a vacant chair between me and Tom. This one here. All right. Now, what happened? You want me to tell you, Sheriff? I was dealing the hand and dropped out as soon as I looked at my cards. All right, go ahead. Let's have this straight. Well, like I say, I knew I was out just as soon as I looked at my cards. It was Larry that opened the pot. He'd been losing pretty regularly. Then. There. I'll open for a hundred. Between the cards I'm getting and the rates Tom's charging me for water these days, I'm going broke fast. I'll, uh, I'll raise it a hundred. I'm in. You've been lucky so far, Larry. What do you mean? The rates are going up. I'm charging you a dollar a gallon from now on. You what? You in or out? Yeah, I'm in. Give me two cards, Blackie. A dollar a gallon, Tom. Have you gone local? Nope. You can't wash out your gold without water. The water belongs to me. Make mine too, Blackie. I'll take three. Now listen, before I'll pay you a dollar a gallon for water, I'll dig my own ditches. You might try it, Larry. That's not saying you get away with it. Who'd stop me? Me, for instance. Tom's getting to think he's awful important around Deadwood. I sure do. I'm not taking a back seat for anybody. Uh-huh. What are you doing with your openers, Larry? I'll bet a thousand gallons of water. <laughs> Up a thousand. I'm out. Yours? And five thousand more. Well, there ain't enough chips to Just cover Just keep it. track of it, Blackie. Five thousand more. You're five and ten. Ten more? <laughs> That's what I said. What am I light if I call, Blackie? Uh, Twenty thousand. I, uh, That's lots of water. You sort of got out of your depth, didn't you, kid? I haven't passed it yet. Forgot about all that machinery you bought and your payroll coming I'll up. I'll call. It. Gotta. <laughs> Read them. Four aces. What is this? It's hard to beat. I got four kings and an ace. table and the lamp crashed to the floor. Tom yelled and uh, when one of the boys brought in another lamp, we saw him on the floor. We didn't touch him, Sheriff, till you came in. Uh, it looks bad for you, Larry. You caught him cheating, maybe, but you had no right to kill him. It isn't as simple as that, Sheriff. Hmm? It was a knife that did it. Yeah, I got it right here. There wasn't any one of us that was carrying a knife. A knife's easy to hide. You can see that Tom was sitting with his back to that open window. There's a gallery outside, and that knife could have been thrown from there. Uh -huh. There's engine markings on it. If there was an engine outside, he could have done it easy. Well, what's the use of cooking up a story like that, Larry? Yeah. He got a chance with a jury. Why not take it? You're heading for jail, Larry. Look, there's an engine out there now. He's right. Don't move, Redskin. I got you covered. Uh, how to raise hands. Reach high. You're under arrest. Later that night, the Lone Ranger and the great horse Silver followed Scout to a grove near the jail. The call of a night bird reached the masked man's ears. And he headed straight for one of the barred windows. Tonto told him everything he had seen and heard at the cafe, and then... You didn't climb to the gallery until after the sheriff entered the cafe. That's right. But when you heard Larry suggest that Hamlin might have been killed by someone outside, you let yourself be taken prisoner. Ah. Why, Tonto? Oh, Tonto not know. Him not think Larry do it. The evidence is all against him. That's certain. Ah. You must have had some reason. Uh, one time, Hamlin take order from Matt Sheldon. 
Now water, bring him plenty money. Him not take order. Matt wouldn't like that. There hasn't been any open quarrel between them. No. What about Blackie? Oh, him work for Matt. Yes. I imagine that Sheldon owns a good share of the Golden Lady. You may be right, Tonto. But I wish you hadn't done this. Oh, well, maybe Tonto make mistake. I can understand how you felt. It's only that Larry is well known and liked in the Gulch. He'd have a better chance with the jury than you would. Uh, and if we find some way to get you out of here, you'll be taken as an admission of guilt. Not right. And there's no help for it, though, Tonto. We can't let you stay here. They might hang you in the morning. Uh, where'd you go? To the sheriff's. I'll see you later. <laughs> Sheriff. A mask man. Back inside. You've got a lot of nerve. Don't make a move for your guns. You're covered. What do you want? The keys of the jail. You think you'll get them? If you're wise, you'll hand them over. There's only one man in there, an engine. He's a friend of mine. He said his name was Tonto. Yes? And you wear a mask. I caught a look at your horse, too. Hurry up. I can't waste time. A lone ranger. Well, I'm glad to meet you, mask man. You can have the keys and welcome. You don't believe that Tonto's guilty? Oh, of course not. But it wasn't until I got him over to the jail I found out what his name was. Then I had to go through with it. I figured you'd be along, though. Do you think Larry's guilty? Oh, I don't know. I can't make head or tail of it. I guess it has to be him. But I'd sure like your help in getting some real proof. You can depend on it. Uh, here's the keys. Here's my gun belt. Your gun belt? Uh, sure. I can't just tell folks in town to let Tano go. Not without arresting somebody else. He's got to escape. I'll tell everybody you came here, got the drop on me, and took my guns and my keys. Then you knocked me out. I'll give you plenty of time to get out of town, masked man. Then I'll raise a posse and take after you. Uh, you won't mind that, will you? Not at all. I can't tell you where the engine's horse is. He came back to our camp. That's why I knew something was wrong. And he led you to the jail, eh? Yes. Well, there's only one guard at the jail. Joe won't make any trouble, but you'd better tie him up. If that's the way you'd like it. But you promised to help me in this case, masked man. You meant it, didn't you? Yes, Sheriff. We'll meet again. Boys, get into your saddles. I want a posse and I want one quick. What's up, Sheriff? Mask man just held me up. Got my guns and the keys to the jail. He's setting the engine free. Setting him free? We got something to say about that. Then say it with hot lead. All right. Follow me. Walk straight ahead, Joe. Kimasabi. That's far enough. All right, Tonto. You, you want me to tie him up? These iron bars will do. Inside, Joe. You'll pay for this. We'll have to be caught first. You hear that? I'll bet it's the sheriff and the boys. You'll be caught all right. We hurry. This way, Tonto. There's a back door. It's closer to the woods. Uh -uh. The sheriff said he'd give us plenty of time to get out of town. You see that? He must have left his house almost as soon as I did. That sheriff lead men. Yes, and they'll see us if we try to cross this open ground. Them right. Get here before we get to wood. We'll have to call Silver and Scout. Here, Scout. Silver! Did you hear that? I heard somebody yelling. It came from back of the jail. There's a couple of horses cutting out of the woods. No riders on it. A white in the paint. Heading straight for the back door. Get up there. Get up, get up there. We can't let him get away now, boys. I see the mask man. There's the engine, too. We're swinging into the saddle. After him, boys. Don't you worry, Sheriff. We're right with you. They're, oh. They're heading up the gulch. Gosh, look at that white horse traveling. They're still in range. Open fire. <laughs> What's the matter? Keep shooting. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Come on, The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto raced out of town ahead of the sheriff and his posse. It was not long before the great horse Silver and Scout left their pursuers far behind. But then instead of following the trail of the west, the masked man and the Indian circled back to town. It was an hour before dawn when they reached the deserted main street and reined up in front of the sheriff's office. Uh, <coughs> it's plenty dangerous to come back. The sheriff and his men won't be here for another hour. It good other people sleep. It's locked. We'll have to break it in. Put your weight into it, Tonto. Uh, 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 we'll need light. Uh, lamp on table. Some papers here. Reward notices, letters. Mm, what you look for? The knife, but then I... Oh, wait a minute. This is a letter from Hamlin, Tonto, and I think it's evidence. Uh, what, what letter say? I'm raising the water rates, and I expect the miners to fight. But you'll stand by me. Matt Sheldon isn't the only one who knows. That all? That's all, except for the signature. What it means? We've got to find that out. I still want to look at the knife. Uh. Hope it isn't in the safe. Try these drawers. That's Joe. I didn't stop to let him out. Uh, him yell plenty loud. Let's hope it wasn't loud enough to wake the town. I think we're safe. If he could have been heard, he'd been out long ago. Not in that one. There came a hobby. Yes. It's an Indian knife, isn't it? Ah, Indian carved handle. What does the sign mean? It means death. What tribe? You can tell that, can't you? It's Kiowa knife. There aren't any Kiowas around here. Them south from here. A long way south. Uh, Come on. Uh, we go there? The knife came from the Kiowa country, and the murderer may have, too. Uh, what about letter? That was a threat, Kimosabe. Larry had a motive for killing Hamlin. Matt and Blackie may have, too. That goes for the sheriff as well. Hip! Uh. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. All right, men. We've covered the county without finding a trace of them. Your horses are tired, and so are you. Go on home, get some sleep. Sheriff, there's no doubt they're guilty. You can't give up. (coughs) They're out of the county. I can't do anything about catching them now. You've got to. I'll send out a wanted notice. Out of the county. Look at the door of your office. Uh, What the? They came back here and broke in. If we'd only got them before. Why would they come back here? I'll soon find out. What's that paper? Uh, Nothing. That drawer's open. The knife's still there. Yeah, but Sheriff... Uh, Don't worry. They won't come back again. They do, they'll hang. Now go on home, Larry. Get back to your mind. Well, there's just one thing I want to ask you before I go, Sheriff. Yeah, what's that? Tom Hamlin's dead. We miners up at the bench land need water. Who's going to run his business and see that it's pumped up there? I am. You are. Got any objections? No. No, that suits me perfect. You won't hold us up the way he did. Yeah, go on home. Don't worry about it. I got business to tend to. Help! Yeah. I got to let my deputy out of jail. A week passed, and in the office of the United States Marshal at San Fernando, over a hundred miles to the south. You certainly picked a job for yourself, masked man. There aren't many more of these circulars. But you don't even know who you're looking for. It's one of four men. I hope you'll find him. Otto, come here. Uh, Hunter, come. Take a look at this. Oh. Marshal, I can tell you where to find this man. Will you ride as far as Deadwood to pick him up? Let's see. Well? I sure will. And get your horse saddled. We're starting tonight. after dark, three days later, that the sheriff rode out of Deadwood and up to the bench land where Larry Lauder had his mind. Two other riders left town shortly after him. When the lawman reached the mine, the big building where the workmen lived was already quiet, but a light shone from the window of Larry's cabin. Uh-huh. Time to just about right. Who's that? Well, just me, Larry. Oh, evening, Sheriff. So late, isn't it? Oh, never too late for business. See, you've been working. Yeah, got to figure out the payroll. Have a chair. Oh, thanks. 
Well, you didn't just come up here for the ride. Nope. What's on your mind? Uh, you been getting enough water? Hmm. Can't complain at all, sir. Mm-hmm. That's good. Got a bill. And just hand it over now. Hey. <laughs> this must be a joke. Well, that's the price Tom Hamlin set before he died, isn't it? He wasn't serious about that. He, he couldn't have been. Yes, he was. And so am I. Oh, now, look. I, I could pay you this rate if I gave you every ounce of gold I took out of the mine, but the other miners up here couldn't. It uh, don't apply to them. It... Oh. So that's it. This is a holdup. It's legal. No, it isn't. You got no legal right to use Tom's machinery in his right of way. Somebody's got to run the business. You said so yourself. Not this way. There's a governor in this territory, and before I pay you one red cent, I'll appeal to him. Oh, no, you won't, Larry. I'll go to Washington if I have to. I'll shut down the mine and... Hello, Matt. Howdy, Blackie. Evening, Sheriff. How are things going? Uh, you'll need persuading... You got here just in time. What did you find out, Marshal? I asked at the cafe. They said the sheriff left town half an hour ago. And Matt and Blackie. They did, too. Heading west? That's right, for the bench land. That's where Larry have mine. Yes, Tato. We may find them all together, but we've got to hurry. Come on, Silver. Yes, Tom. You can't accuse me of Tom Hamlin's mother. Not now. It was the engine did it, and that mess man helped him escape. Oh, no, Larry. We just found out that engine's name was Tonto. The masked man was a Lone Ranger. They don't go in for murder. Lone Ranger? Yeah. So when the sheriff told us that tonight, we had to break down and confess. You mean... That... We confessed that you killed Tom before the lamp was knocked over and we both saw you. That's a downright... We both swear it on the witness stand. Three of you. You're working together. You guessed it, Larry. We have been for a long time. So if you want to save your neck, you can either pay our water rate or... Sign over your mind. It don't make much difference. I won't. Go ahead and arrest me. Put me on trial. Before it's over, the whole territory will know the kind of crooks you are. That isn't the way we work. You'll try to escape on the way back to town tonight. And I'll have to shoot you. Use your brains, Larry. You don't want to die so young. My men aren't far from here. I'll call Just in time. Come on, it's going to take two of us to hold him. I got it. Better gag him and tie him up here. Yeah. When we leave here, we won't head back to town first. We'll get the job finished where there's no chance of being seen or heard. The light on, the door open. Yeah. There's a chair knocked over and a piece of rope on the floor. They've taken the key to prisoner. Looks that way to me. Kimasabi. Tonto's found something. What is it? Three horse right up here. Then go that way. To the canyon? Uh, one horse carry two men. <coughs> Come on, Silver. Get it out. Well, this is far enough. Let him down. Slide off, mister. We'll give him another chance. Yeah, that's the way you want it, Matt. I'll get the mine for next to nothing after he's dead. But it'll be easier this way. And cheaper, too. Take the gag off, Blackie. Yeah. <coughs> Help! <laughs> Go ahead. Yell all you want to. Your voice won't get out of this canyon. One more chance, Larry. Sign over the mine. I'd rather die. You will, you know. I'm ready. Just tell me one thing. Yeah? What? Which one of you was it? That killed Tom Hamlin? Yeah. What good will it do you to know that? It was you. I was right. 
That knife did come from the window. One of these two knocked over the lamp and you threw the knife. What difference does it you make? You were outside on the gallery. Then you dropped to the ground. What the? And came in by the front door of the cafe. That's the Lone Ranger. Get him. Where? Behind you, Blackie. But don't go for your gun. You're covered. I see him. Let him have it. No. You won't get me. You're up, Tonto. No. Good work. Don't shoot. I'm throwing down my gun. Oh, my hands. You aren't hurt, Connor. Connor? His name isn't Connor, mass man. It's Collier. That's Bat Connor. And he's wanted in San Fernando for a murder and a bank robbery. This fellow not get away now. No, Tonto. The marshal's going to see that a federal judge comes to Deadwood. And all three of these men will be tried. I didn't have nothing to do with Hamlin's murder. Neither did I. That was the sheriff's idea. You two knew about his past, and he felt that was enough. He didn't want anyone else in Deadwood giving him orders. If I hang, they will too. Shut up. You're not giving me orders anymore. San Fernando's an awful long way from here. How'd you find out the sheriff was wanted back there? The knife told us that. He brought it with him. And you went all the way down there and back since I saw you last. We're glad we got back in time. Well, so am I. Well, you have your prisoners, Marshal. Will you need any help in getting them to town? Not if Larry gives me a hand. That'll be a pleasure. <coughs> and I'll, I'll say goodbye. Adios. Adios. Come on, Silver. Get him up to scout. Oh, wait, mass man. Marshal, these hombres were getting ready to kill me, and he saved my life. I gotta thank him. You better forget it, son. Forget it? You're cleared of murder, and these crooks get what's coming to them. It's all over. And when the Lone Ranger's work is done, he never waits for thanks. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.